I grew up in this business. My dad was a lifelong restaurateur, and so I've only worked in restaurants. Well, eventually I was brought onto the team at 11 Madison Park. I bought that restaurant a few years later, but at first I was an employee, I was the general manager. And the owner at the time, a guy named Danny Meyer, charged me and my chef at changing it into one of the best restaurants in New York. Before we could start brainstorming all the things we wanted to accomplish, we needed to first start by determining what we wanted to embody. What were our non-negotiables? The first was hospitality. That should come as no surprise. But when we were talking about it, we were talking about genuine hospitality, about the idea that we wanted to surround ourselves with people who derived significant and genuine pleasure out of doing nice things for other people. When I wrote down unreasonable hospitality, I don't even know that I understood what it meant. But here's the thing, you don't actually have to fully understand the goal to start pursuing it. We are in the business of serving other people. And what I believe is if all of us make the choice to put hospitality at the center of every decision we make, that's the things that separates the good ones from the pack. Everyone in this room can make the choice to become a part of the hospitality industry by deciding to take ordinary transactions and elevate them to extraordinary experiences. People these days, they don't like to collect things anymore. They collect to collect experiences. But what point is there to have an experience if you don't have a story that's good enough to help you relive it over and over and over again? You work with people who are incredibly talented and that inspires you to want to be a better version of yourself. We've talked a lot this week about taking risks a lot this week about the idea that if you want to do something great, you need to be prepared to fail. To do what we did in that restaurant space, you need to be a perfectionist. But we articulated as a group that perfection is unattainable. Of course it is, we're a human-powered organization. Humans are inherently imperfect. But that if we could break what we were trying to do into its varying parts, we could do a lot of things perfectly. When people know that you're listening and they have these experiences that they know no one else is having, it's a really beautiful thing. Never underestimate the creative capacity of every single individual on your team. If you don't have the confidence and conviction to say a goal out loud over and over and over again, you're never gonna achieve it. I think it's impossible to be the best at anything if you don't experience your own product. I think if you are not on the receiving end of what you serve, what you serve is never gonna be a genuine reflection of who you are. You have to be unreasonable to see a world that does not yet exist. Vayner Speakers.